out here to down to the headroom. A little bit of headroom possible. I think I'm gonna go like that, I think. I think I'm gonna go maybe diagonal or just do a half thing there. Well, as I said in my, my last video, is it gonna focus? Yep, there we go. Hello, and welcome to the video. Um, also, first of all, thank you for the current subscribers, 197. I've lost a one or two, but I've hit a milestone of 85,000 views, so I'm very, very happy with that. When I hit that 100,000 K views and even more, let's just, let's help this grow. Basically, you may wonder, where am I right now? Because what is the, I've never had an arch like that in my house before. Well, I'm at my new house. This is a rental house, going to be an HMO house. Um, I'm just going to take you around through it. There's furniture in here. We did the different places, building a few things, taking a wall down, um, and making this house as it, as it should be. So, let's go. So this, how this, the, all this stuff, all this stuff here. They're all. These are all wardrobes, and that that's part of the wardrobes as well. This chest of drawers, and this actual chest of drawers is over a hundred years old. You may think it doesn't look like a hundred years old, but it actually we sanded it, planed it, sanded it, filled it in. And we actually painted it this duck egg blue, green blue thing, aqua, whatever it is. Um, so we've actually made a um, a an old 200, well, 110 or something year old chest of drawers. Usable again, give it a new lease of life. It looks actually amazing, doesn't it? How sick does that look? My tools there just to uh, to take the wall down and, and build this, uh, this um, table and chairs that are going to go there. All these chests, all these drawers here, they're all going upstairs um, to the four bedrooms we've, we've, we've got. We're going to ha make a three bed into a four bed. Got this chest of drawers here, that's, that was free and that's going to get repainted because um, it's got that mark on it there. That was, that didn't, that was, that wasn't free, that was 20 something quid. This was about 30 quid. These were about between 15 and 25 quid each. So we've really found some really good stuff. There's obviously another chest, another um, small uh, wardrobe here. Um, we've got my old three quarter bed there with the with the uh, headboard. Um, that's another um, chest of drawers that was free. It was actually from my fiance Charlotte's mum and dad's house. And believe it or not, but this chest of drawers here was actually. The chest of drawers but when she was a baby 31 years ago they they put a thing on top of it and that's what she was changed her nappy was changed and so that's basically 30 odd years old so we've got a lot of stuff in here it's uh, it's currently it's uh, got prepaid meters but we're changing them to non-prepaid because we want tv that tv is going on the wall there we have a two-seater and a two-seater here so it's good with the with a coffee table so it's going to be like this look looking mint um it's gonna look sick to be honest. The um it's got a nice entrance here to the kitchen. This was um 40 quid. This uh this fridge was 40 pounds, which is pretty fucking good for 40 quid fridge freezer, not plugged in yet. Got a shitty um boiler here, but you know these sellers are cheap bastard. Um I would have had a Baxi or or Valen or Worcester Bosch one really, but whatever. Ah. Brand new sink. Mind you, this is this is quite a bit of stuff to do, but who cares? Um, this is the, um, the the thing. The lights aren't working, but um, don't know what the um, what the old owner's done. He's been a fucking moron. Um, this sink is getting gone because we need to put a shower screw a shower screen on this, and this is in the way of the shower screen. So we're going to get one where it's all nice and. Uh, a basin and, and cabinet, a nice small one to slot in there. This is the um, the what do you call it? The um, the bath with not a bad tile to be honest. Obviously they've left a bloody pendant light in here, so we're going to basically put some spotlights in here, some IP65, which is bathroom waterproof and all of it, um, rated um, lights for bathrooms. Which um, the other room, the spare bedroom, the first spare bedroom. The stop trap is under here, down there, which is just stupid. We're gonna get all new blinds in here. Um, probably this is gonna be a double room, which you may think, double room in here? How do you do that? Probably a small, but this, this should be able to fetch about 400 pound a month, all built included. Um, is here. 
Um, I'm not having the blinds open, I don't want people looking in. But um, the master bedroom is here, it's pretty big. That is um, under under the stairs that goes to the loft. So you're just going to put um, a rail there, put a curtain there, or a door. And that's going to be their what? That's going to be their wardrobe. Quite a thing, quite deep. And a chest of drawers there, or something like that, for a TV or whatever. And here, nice big double bed. Or I might have a double bed here. I don't know yet. Um, and upstairs, this is the main stuff I'm actually doing, which I can't wait to see. This is what I'm starting on today. We um, have a Velux there. Um, basically, what is happening is this is this is the third bedroom, huge as you can see. Um, so basically, what we're doing is this wall here is coming down. That door there, that doorway there, is going to go here. That doorway there is going to come here, so it's like an L shape. That wall is going to be moved to here. That wall is going to be moved over here because then they've got one door there going going in that way to this room here this lovely room here and they got and they'll have this door here going in coming into here to make a bigger room so then basically this bedroom this room here can be a loft room that's the fourth bedroom so we we're going to drop half of this down to the ground we can put, put a bed over it and then all that there because that's the landing put a wall up here there so it's, so it's blocked off and then someone needs to put the bed there if they want to or there or wherever and then that wall that wall's going to be pushed over there and it's going to look sick uh, hopefully if things go to plan i'm going to knock this wall down today take that take that door out take that door out um, hopefully that's one piece so i can just pull it out and then pull that out which basically can move it this way it's two bedrooms rather than rather than one oh. yes well oh, what do you know? yes well it's been about oh, let's take this off oh. it's been about two hours since uh, I showed you the wall um, made a lot of mess Sadly there's no electric for some reason, there's just no electric in this house. Even though there is credit on, I think the old owners have tampered with it, so I'm not messing with them. But uh, what you saw before, it might be easy now to, to be honest to show you what we're going to do now that this is done. But uh, there's the wall. There's what was the wall, I've taken it all down. And there is the now opening. I'm struggling to have batteries gone on my drill. Two batteries used two batteries used on the drill, my impact drill, to get all the screws out. Made a lot of mess which I can't even clean up because there's no there's no power. I need to bring a brush here or something I think. But that door basically, this door here is going to go here. So this door here is going to move in like just in line with that with that plug socket there. We're going to move about a meter over and then that door there is going to be going structured in line with it a crossways so it's like a, an l shape like a 90 degree angle like an elbow as they say in the plumbing terms uh, and then that there over here so it's basically so that that one switch will work for that door and that door so it'll be for this it'll be for this room and that room this whole wall, that one there, is going to move over here. So basically, this will be this will be one room, and this will be another one. And then this, what I've knocked out all here, which was the banister as you saw, is going to be not lowered possibly to out here, to down to the headroom, a little bit of headroom possibly. I think I'm going to go like that. I think. I think I'm going to go maybe diagonal. I'll just do a half thing there. So you can get, so you can see how sort of bed can go over it. Bed can go over there. Wall will be up here, so the wa wall will be uh, up here. So there'll be a wardrobe to go here. A bed goes there. Chest of drawers goes there. So you've got a nice big two bedrooms in here now. And to be honest, I can't really do much more apart from do a bit of tidying up because my battery's gone on my on that. I've got no power in the house. 
so I can't really do much about it now. I can just hold the tidy up a little bit with all the try and get some of this stuff in my bags and break some of this up ready to go in my car. I might even take it and take it out to the to tip because it needs to go anyway. Try and get it in my car possibly. But what I might do actually, I'm going to bring up all this stuff from downstairs, as I said, and uh, bring it up to get it out of the way. So then I'm going to build a I'm thinking I might build um, the tables and table and chairs that's got to go in there because it needs to be built anyway, so I might as well do it. And also, if any, any, if any trays come in, they can use the table to put the tools on, which is always a good thing and helpful to them. So yeah, that's uh, what I've been doing it for the past few hours. And doing it without knowing where anything is screwed in, all I have to do is get a hammer and chisel, make room and then pull, 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 pull all the plasterboard off, all that and all that and all that's in them bags and that's it um, so uh, the next step I think I'll show you the rooms with different things in I was going to bring beds up here but I can't it's too messy um, but uh, it looks good progress looks way better than it did you can see the light now in a way these are going to just have curtains because well they just are um, unless I can get blackout blind unless I can get blind spot on them but I don't think so but yeah, that's it. Boom. I hope you liked my last video. I only got 30 something views in it so far or whatever. Uh, but this is a like a renovation, a bit like um, Off The Ranch, the YouTube channel who showed his renovation of his house. This is a less of a, of a build and more of a conversion into a, a, a four bed HMO, which I'm hoping will technically should bring in. But if it's fully, fully, um, occupied 18,000 a year then you take three to four thousand off for all the bills give or take three yeah about three to four thousand off the bill that's fourteen thousand a year and then I give obviously Charlotte who's got 30 percent equity in this house I've got seven I give her 30 percent of it so I should come out about, about between eight to nine thousand a year if it's fully occupied if it's not fully occupied I reckon about seven ish seven to eight grand a year give or take so all in all I'm still going to make a decent return on my investment like I said this is going to be a trial for my house to see if HMOs are easy to do if they're not I'll buy a house and rent it out uh, and, or, and then I might, or I might use the money to buy another house to live in but yeah uh, uh, I hope you like this video I hope you do subscribe and appreciate the work I'm doing the, the effort I'm putting into these videos um, for all those ones who are unsubscribed, oh well, that's life. For all the new subscribers, hello, thank you very much. Um, please do subscribe, please follow, please comment what you think. I'm going to show you the process of what can I say. Let's get it and let's do this. Um, I'll see you all soon for another video, hopefully. And hopefully all that furniture downstairs I'm bringing up to the different rooms. So it'll be clear and it'll be better. And then it'll be more structured this house soon. Because uh, I want it structured, I want to put some money into the money I've just spent. I want to think, get it back out and put it back into my bank. So yeah, thanks again. See you all soon. Bye bye.